kawan menjah saya ke bawah Aku asal ke empatin nama muka Mak saya udah abang nyai masa tadi So saya singkat dia Muhammad Dia lagi Maka dia zuan nama faruku Bahan menggama Al-Hasad Dulami Awalu Aku ucap dia mengata Wana Ford Maka dia mula gana Sekarang gara gaja Daban 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 Maka anak saya berjalan Dari dia sekali Bahawa saya azur kasaku Ajar mama si, sebijak nak aku ajar cakap sah. Bas sah ini kita mahu hati agama bas ini sah menuju tuh betul betul kasih ni aje goreng kekadau tu ansaan aje kacang goreng dah kaji dah mahim manch. Tu mungkin yang semua kerja yang semua kerana nak aku jadi mahu sebuli tu sah sah ah ah siapa hantu juga nak kasih nanti mahu kerja landa. So mahu aku jadi semua orang goreng mahu kerja kita kala kala. Bas siapa sah sah mana ama sah boleh ansaan. Idan sempat juga, kau kau esen ni macam mana? Kamu kau sempat elem menang one number. So, anda kau kaya orang cakap sebab si mas cari izin dah dia lah, awak suruh dia anjat. Insyaallah, when you come many many questions, there are so many stories to tell already, because it's it's so rich, it's so rich of different things. If we treat like kings. Every year we've gone there, hospitality has been second to none, to be honest with you. Um, uh, I wouldn't say that the hospitality has been befitting to the stat stature of the group, but if you know how, um, how in demand we are by the young people in the UK, then I would say that the hospitality that has been expressed by the, the people of Kanu is befitting the stature that we represent to the young people of the UK. But the people of Kanu don't know that. So that's like that is why it is first class and second to none. interest in learning more about like how is the culture this will lead to more areas of Africa is to introduce Africa what we feel that we need we need a foundation for us we're not a black nationalist group yet. It reminds me of my childhood actually, because I'm a Nigerian actually. So I grew up on Nigerian food. You know, it's, it's only when I got to a teenager which I stopped eating Nigerian food. I wanted fish and chips then. You know, as a, as a rebel teenager. So it's very nice. The food is very nice. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, the people were very nice too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I tried to learn a few, yeah. I, 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 I've written down a few phrases which will start me off when I go back. And I go, yeah, I'm going to carry on there when I go back to London. 
from now. I, 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 I guess that a few guys that you were gonna follow me. The best one was was the sisters. We went to a, a like a girls' school, and it was absolutely amazing. You know, you know, we were seeing the courses. They got the, the courses in a, in a few seconds. They had it. They knew the courses. They really enjoyed it. You can see the you know the excitement, the enthusiasm. You know, but to be honest, the best of it was. Nigeria has been an absolute boom. Translation, it means it's been brilliant, it's fantastic, it's exceeded my expectations. Um, if I'll be honest from the heart, I was a bit apprehensive at first in coming and thinking, oh my god, Nigeria, the hype. And then um, part of me just said, you know what? When Hadisa called me at work, I was thinking, you know what, Chuck, let me ask my manager if I could go now. And then when he said, um, yeah, I could go, and he put in the forms, and everything, my holiday forms. I said, yeah, boy, I'm going to Nigeria, I'm going back to my roots, West Africa. So, and meeting the people here, the hospitality from different from different people, different groups of people, different nations and tribes we've met here has been astounding, has been breathtaking and been a humbling experience. Jamaica, best people, African, Indian, Chinese, Malaysian, all this spicy. I love it. I'm so yeah. In the UK, I was never really a big fan of Nigerian food. I, I would eat it, um, jollof rice here and there, but I was never not. I never really know much about Nigerian food because. But what I had here, especially the the sardine omelets, astounding. Um, the the vegetable fried rice, um, the fish, the way the chicken. <laughs> Nigeria, <laughs> 